not six answers on the board. We're single point question. Well, seconds. You ready? You ready? You can't. Okay, when I said you can cheat, I didn't mean you can put the buzzer on the table. Probably helps with the system's not. This is our question. Good luck. Name a reason why a man might rush home from work in the middle of the day. Pat. Is there a family emergency? There you go. Someone said that's good enough for me. One can beat it. Name a reason why a man might rush home from work in the middle of the day. See the look on your face, just go for it. No. Uh, <laughs> two seconds. Damage to the house. There's damage. Can we, uh, more specific? What kind of damage? Tree falls on it. Tree falls on the house. Come on, turn it out. Thank you guys for having a nice play. Play? Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Think of a skill that we're here. Mr. Jacob, a reason why a man might rush home from work in the middle of the day. He gets fired. That's what I'm doing. Did he get fired? No, our time still has his job, which is probably good for him, that's a A reason why a man might rush home from work in the middle of the day, why? He forgot something at home. Okay. Did he forget something at home? No, only 14 points in this bank, folks. Well, you guys need to give me something here, otherwise we're just going to be spinning in circles with Paul Ross. Name a reason why a man might rush home from work in the middle of the day. He left something and plugged in or Okay, it's like you forgot to plug it Alright, if you left something plugged in is there, you guys are still alive. If not, you guys are going to have a chance to play for the big 14 points. <laughs> <laughs> Show me he left something on. No, he did not. Alright, this question is completely and utterly meaningless. Let's get it out of the way right now. Brad, the reason why a man might return from work in the middle of the day. Romantic things. Romantic things. <laughs> okay. Good work, Joey. If romantic things are up there, you get the big 14 if not. You guys will establish a very, very minor lead with 14 points. So do we have romantic things? Damn, best time of partner for well done. <laughs> 14 points on the right side. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what do we have? Let's get four answers in the reveal. Suggestions from the audience. What do you guys think? A fire. Show me number three. Have lunch. That's four. <laughs> four. <laughs> Try on a cheating lie. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> Use the restroom. Question and number six. House is on fire. Good job to the mysterious voice for that. <laughs> All right, we've got Tim coming to the face up audio. We've got fourteen over here. Next over here, Jake. Let's play the face up question. Why are you still single? Top six inches on the board. Is the machine on? Yes, it is. Here's the question. Name something the loneliest man in the world might have to buy for his own birthday party. Yes. Kate. Show me Kate. <laughs> no answer. Good job, Kate. We're playing. We're playing. We're playing. All right. Hi, Daniel. You guys think I'm still here? Are you going to discuss? Something the loneliest man in the world might have to buy for his own birthday party. Presents. Well, we have to buy a present. Yeah, I'm going to do one. I'm going to give him a hand for that. Let's get that. Yeah! Woo! Amanda, make something the loneliest man in the world might have to buy for his own birthday party. Entertainment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> is, is this what we're going to call romantic things? <laughs> Well, what, what, tell me what you meant then. Like what, put the tail on the doggy? <laughs> yeah. Well, we need specific answers here. Oh, sorry. Pin the tail on the doggy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to buy pin the tail on the doggy? <laughs> no, you don't have to press strike. <laughs> I don't make you up, I just read I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Something the loneliest man in the world might have to buy for his own birthday party. Friends. What do you have to buy friends? <laughs> Four, five, and six are still left. Uh, <laughs> any points for that, Tim? You guys, to this point, some of the oldest man in the world might have to buy for his own birthday. Dinner. Ooh, what do you have to buy the food? How many strikes are there? One or two? It <laughs> was one to four, and now it is two. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> two strikes, big deal now. Some of the oldest man in the world might have to buy for his own birthday party. 
Are you a lady friend? Yeah, yeah. If romantic things is up there, I'm sweating to keep saying that. I know. If romantic things is up there, you guys are still around. If not, it goes over to them for the steal. Romantic things. There you go. If you have Kevin Walworth's number, please don't call him today. We need to deal with this. Two left. Name a reason. Uh, sorry, they know the loneliest man in the world might buy from his own birthday party. Decorations. All right, decorations is up there. We're one away. Of that. Same deal for the steal. Do we have decorations? Nicely done, number five. Yeah. Part of the thing on the board comes down to you. I know. And it's your deck. Two strikes, one is the left. You've got okay, present, friends, a woman, and decorations. One left. Something the loneliest man in the world might have to buy for his own birthday party. Ice cream. <laughs> well, we already have food. Fine. Well, we can strike if you want, though. All right. Okay, well, we have three seconds to do so. Thanks. Of the amount of things, Brad. What kind of things, Brad? You know, stop, stop. If stuff is up there, you guys just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number six left here. One answer, you get 93 points, and that's a lot. If not, they will get the points themselves. Some of the loneliest man in the world might have to buy for his own birthday party. Alcohol. Alcohol. If alcohol is up there, you guys take the big lead. If not, you get it. Do we have alcohol? Yeah! Good job! The left team gets the points on that one. And as a disclaimer, unless you are 21 years of age, you should not be getting alcohol. Alright, 93 over here, 14 over here, number three is for the face off question. <laughs> Family food is a very dangerous game. Yeah. <laughs> We've got top five answers on the board, point value is double for this question. Good luck, ladies. Question is this. Name something associated with Jennifer Lopez. Yes. Dancing. Show me she dances. No, very nice though. Any answer you can take it. Something associated with Jennifer Lopez. Really big butt. Smoking a really big butt. Number one. Danielle, would you like to pass the play? Play. Over to Amanda. Number one answer. Double the points, something associated with Jennifer Lopez. Movies. Show me she started in movies. Uh, Very good guess, that makes sense. Just wasn't in the top five. Back over to Brad, something associated with Jennifer Lopez. Music. Okay, show me her music. That's up. Number two, one, two is up there. Three, four, one, we've got left. Brad's taking a break. <laughs> <laughs> something associated with Jennifer Lopez's film. Latin. She is Latin, that is very true. Is it up there or is it strike two? Uh, no, it's a strike. Strike, I think it was still over on this side. Danielle, you brought it up here. Try to take it back. Something associated with Jennifer Lopez. Her relationship. Okay, so the one specific, like what? Like her boyfriend and stuff. Who's name is? You know that one guy. Yeah, that's it. We would have, if it's up there, we would have taken it in the way you didn't know his name. Mark, is Mark Anthony? <laughs> if Mark Anthony's up there, you guys are live. But if not, it's going to go over to the, for the strike, or for the steal, excuse me. Do we have Mark Anthony? Possibly. Yes, we do! Yeah. Okay, well done. <laughs> not, not necessarily, because Amanda's got it. If she gets it right, you have to go again. But if not, we have to steal. What is it going to be? Her style. Like she dresses well? Hey, if she dresses well, and it's number three and number five, you are alive with another brand. But if not, you guys get the shot. Same song, third chorus. Is her style up there? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, yes, so. Cat, number three and number five are left. We've got her booty and body, her music, and her ex husband, Mark Anthony. Three and five are left. What say you? American Idol. Alright? If American Idol is up there, you can take it away. You can tell a nice one. You guys have been kind of gotten some big points as well. 
What? Are we having some conversations over here? Oh, somebody else is about to the so we can't judge what's going to answer or not. 